Now this is content. Sweet ride, huh? It's my truck mobile. I stole it. <laughs> you should appreciate that, you banditos. You stole this whole goddamn town. I have to join the bandits to get in. What an ugly license plate. <laughs> How dare you? You can't criticize my custom officially Devin DLC skin, man. So outraged I'm gonna slide away. Oh, is the museum closed? To join the bandits, I have to talk to the guy in the museum. Now let me show you something about the art of stealing, my friends. <laughs> you see, the innkeep won't notice that we're just going up without a reservation. If we only slide. <laughs> Smooth criminal. Ah, we made it without anyone seeing us. It's a bed. Sleep here. Sleep until the morning. Sleep till morning. <laughs> With sausage. What? Uh oh. What sort of inn have I stumbled into? <laughs> Sir, would you like your complimentary sausage? <laughs> It'll be delivered at a time that you. Won't expect only 12 urine coins. Well, I would be delighted. <laughs> I'll just put these coins under the pillow and the sausage fairy will visit me in the night. <laughs> My name's your sausage fairy. <laughs> oh, your dream's gonna come true, my son. What the? The sombrero doesn't come off. <laughs> you can't take it off, all right? It's part of my dream. You have some weird ass dreams, son. <laughs> Oh, I've been in a sausage fairy business for 50 years. Morning. How'd you sleep? I I couldn't sleep. There was this guy. He called himself the sausage fairy. Do you? Was that part of the service? Uh, no. Um, well, it's strange times indeed. You better fuck off. What the? People started referring to Vanilla as the vagrant organist. Oh, damn, Vanilla. You played that organ so well last night. Can't believe that's your first time with a sausage. <laughs> oh, I could call you the vagrant organist. Yeah. Well, that was horrifying. Let's just walk outside and pretend that never happened. It's still night. Oh, <laughs> well, we tried. I guess we just slept for 24 hours. I think we slept for 12 hours, then we were unconscious for 12 hours after the sausage ordeal. Does that mean I'm now full? Am I full? I'm stuffed. I was stuffed by that sausage. I should endorse them more strongly. Go to James's Inn, they'll stuff you full of sausages all night. <laughs> Only 12 urine coins. Belmundo, I found something. Yes, I was out in the valley fighting a gigantic robot caterpillar tank <laughs> with no explanation given. And I found this meteorite. Here you go. Would you like to buy it off me? Let's see. <laughs> Unbelievable! This will be a star attraction. Please make me rich. I'm so poor. For 735 urine coins. That's a lot of sausages. <laughs> Vanilla said under his breath. What did you just say? Said Bumblebee. Oh, I didn't say anything about sausages. I'm completely stuffed, he added. I see. Just just take the money and go, will you? Please. Please. Right, now that that business is sorted out, I'll talk to this guy about joining the bandits. Hey, I heard that if you can't beat them, you have to join them. <laughs> ah, the words of a famous coward. Yes. Yes. I'd like you to look at something. <laughs> what? Do you want to see how stuffed with sausages I am? I can show him anything. Oh, I can't show him the sombrero. Guess he's already seen it. Do you want to look at this? Look at my bed. I'm not interested in sleeping with you. Crazy Mexican cowboys. Every five minutes. I have to show him the employment application in order to get his stamp to join the bandits officially. Come over here, you. What, closer? Even closer? But if I come closer, your hand will be yes. You heard me. Oh wait, we're going over there. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I moved too quickly, and now the situation has become so very awkward. I, I am interested in the position. I will assume the position. Oh, I've been changed by those sausages. <laughs> what? I'm not the physical type. Well, why don't we get physical? <laughs> oh no, more moralistic questions. Where am I from? Be dramatic. The Red Hot Desert's my home. <laughs> Blistering, forsaken desert. I'm a Texas boy, born and bred. <laughs> You're hired! That works in any job interview, by the way. My reason for joining is that I'm idealistic. <laughs> I'm a man of honor and virtue, but it's opposite stage, so I'm joining the band. I would like all the world to live in peace and harmony. Dude! 
You know, I know I said I was from Texas earlier, but <coughs> I get around my uh, get around in my truck, my bill. Sweet ride, huh? You're hired. I can't say you're hired enough times, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> He said stifled laughter, but the sound effects sound like he was about to cry. <laughs> this is amazing as a job interview. Wouldn't it be great if the job interview just went... <laughs> He's so stupid! Anyway, what do you find the most interesting? Machines, the moon, fossils, cooking? <laughs> None of the above. Hmm, we, is this another dating sim aspect? What do you think he likes? He is hanging out at the museum, so he probably likes fossils. fossils Let's go with really fossils. I love fossils. Fossils, huh? A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. No, it's just a rock. I'm a maverick renegade who doesn't follow the rules. <laughs> Except the speed limit. <laughs> because safety is important. Man. Safety is important. Man. Man. I could work this into my band music thing. Man, man, man. This is a song. It's called Sweet Ride. Sweet ride, man. Uh, what are you talking to me? <laughs> okay, <laughs> your crazy rambling has convinced me to let me go. I'm leaving, so open up, kid. Get out of my way. I'm the new bandit in Bandit Town. Oh, there's another bandit in Bandit Town. What the shit and fuck? I <laughs> destroyed half of reality. It's all worth it to get all those sweet urine coins. Uh, how do I... Can I lock on to this guy somehow? Lock on. Main screen, turn on! There we go, the wild rooster, rapidly humping the environment. Yeah, it's a beautiful sight. Now to be punched to death by a man on a crazy death robot, who will quickly take your gas and your urine coins. <laughs> Come out and face the music. I think the carpet mill is finally facing industrial action over the fact that they were just beating their workers and they made their workers dress as like Victorian <laughs> oppressed workers to make them feel more oppressed. He seemed like such a nice guy, <laughs> but I guess I was deceived. Well, I don't know. Oh, they're probably protesting the fact that he's obviously in league with the criminals. <laughs> It's becoming increasingly obvious at this point, to be fair. And, well, I shouldn't really complain because we are also in league with the criminals. <laughs> Let's go and visit them. <laughs> Look at this. My God. <laughs> so that's why they call you Big Boss. <laughs> all right, you can go on in. I think it's just the sombrero. Oh, that's it, all right. <laughs> that's what I was looking for. All this, all these, like, ladders, or stairs, and balconies down the side of the cliff right behind the carpet mill. Did he really not know about all this? Did he really not know? Excuse me, sir. It looks like he's got his butt going through the letterbox in the door. Can't you see something very weird going on here? Don't recognize you. I have info for the boss. <laughs> hey, info, information. Information <laughs> is data that's processed into a usable form. All right, come on in. Right, we're in. Thanks, difficult killer elephant. You were very difficult. They do all look the same. They like there's like 50 of these characters in the game, and they only made two models. God, who, whoever made this is an absolute hack. Unlike whoever's making this let's play, who is a genius, <laughs> I tell you. So here we are. Oh, it's this thing again. Oh, they're they're bloody rebuilding the giant elephant thing that we blew up. Oh well, we'll probably fight it again. Now I'm trying to remember. Why are we actually here? Why are we infiltrating the bandit base? I was just doing it, doing it out of curiosity earlier. I guess we could, like, put in a formal request for them to fuck off and give us the town back. Look at that. Killer elephant. It's kill elephants. <laughs> They've got their own bloody flag wrong. No wonder they're hiding it down here. They actually put a doormat at the bottom of a ladder. That's so fucking civilized. <laughs> These bandits, like... Their technological level is quite far ahead of the rest of the world by the looks of things. I think the bandits really should be allowed to take over. They're just, they're really nice people. <laughs> I just love the bandits. Oh wow, talk about civilized. They've got Roman style bathrooms here. <laughs> just put it all in there, Padre. I don't care what I see. <laughs> in fact, I want to see it. All right. <laughs> Yet again, we've got a new job. We now work in the kitchens here. What am I trying to do in the game? What's my objective? Why am I getting all these dead-end jobs? Well, I, I, try cooking. Right, Vanilla just made a spicy minced cutlet sandwich. Ooh, I've got the recipe for it as well, I guess. Now take it to the boss. 
So, by pretending to be his chef, we may, in some way, save the town <laughs> from bandit invasion. Still not sure what the middle stage of this plan is, but Vanilla's gonna come up with something at any moment. Let's slide there so we don't accidentally drop the food. <laughs> Look at that. They keep wanted poses of themselves. Here. Hmm, what's this? I call it cha-ching. <laughs> Just mouth water and ice. Mmm, you're a genius. Mm. I know. Wait, I know. Vanilla I flavored chicken. Oh, so delicious. Oh god, he sees through my disguise. But I'm wearing the chef's hat. I must be the chef. Well, we somehow decided that if I could beat him in a truckmobile contest. <laughs> Uh, something good will happen. I think he's just trying to kill me. I'm not quite sure. It's just a very friendly murder. <laughs> it just was so friendly presented. It's like, go on, let's have a little battle. Battle start or Oh, shit! <laughs> Put the controls! He knows the controls! That's cheating! He's just destroying me! He's absolutely destroying me! Like, I can't get close to him, but he's just shooting me with the cannon. There's no dodge. If they shoot with a ranged attack, what do you do? You're welcome here anytime, kid. You remind me... Of me. Yep, that's right. <laughs> I used to get beaten up by a guy holding a massive leg of chicken and barely able to stand up. <laughs> ah, my younger days. Oh, those summer nights. And I'll be willing to fight you when Okay, you... we'll, f we'll fight again. So, you probably won't. What I'm the sure fuck is he doing? You too. probably won't believe me. I was gonna give you some food. You probably won't believe me. But me losing to him in that fight actually did cause him to pull his troops out of Neferberg. He just said, well, guess we'll leave Neferberg or something, like in the middle of that conversation somewhere. I was like, wait, what? So, there we go. We did save the town by getting our ass handed to us by a man in a giant robot elephant. Or a small robot elephant. <laughs> I mean, you would say it's a giant robot elephant, but compared to the robot elephant nearby, it was quite small. And now we've got a nice black screen. Let's see if we can force anything. Oh, there we go. Stomach status changed from sated to stuffed. So he stuffed us full of something. Let's put the graphics back on. And there we go. I suppose we did something. <laughs> we need to like go find that train and go find Coriander because this game's so strange about not having any plot. <laughs> like there's no objective. The killer elephants have one ultimate goal. Do you know what it is? To something something truth and love. To something something the stars above. Jesse, James. <laughs> Our objective is to travel to the moon. Oh. Well, that's random, isn't it? <laughs> we, the killer elephants, are the finest space agency the world has ever known. With our huge robot elephant, space travel is now finally within reach. I think. <laughs> what is space travel again? I'm going to encourage their plan here because, you know, all power to them. <laughs> if they're going to use their evil games to, to fund a space program, that's a lot better than it could be, to be honest. That's not bad as banditry goes. Support the academic industries of the world by flying to space. Even if you robbed and killed all those people to fund it. It's fine. When he saw you, he must have decided it was a good time to pull out. Well... <laughs> yeah. Classic. Classic euphemisms. So, <laughs> he just explained that... The the real reason they decided to pull out of Nefroburg is because they didn't want to damage the economy because it would undermine their space program if the local economy wasn't very strong. I can't believe how good these bandits are. We haven't heard anything of, like, the police or the local government. These bandits run the show, and I'm glad I'm a member of them, okay? Please give my... I can't believe how many people came here just to complain. <laughs> what was it they were complaining about? Was it that you were aiding and abetting a criminal space program? <laughs> or was it that you were selling swords and rocket launchers to random passers-by? They think I'm with the killer elephants just because I gave them the space to hang out. <laughs> Do you think do you think that's funny, Mr. Peregrine? I know exactly what you and your disgusting space elephants are up to. And I'm gonna fund it every step of the way and I don't care who I have to kill. Let me shake your hand. Yeah, would you like to blow on my trumpet? Oh, oh, I'll just take my ship's hat off. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>